Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I would say good at, good morning, but it's actually quarter after 12. So this morning I shot some clips, or I had Pat, I had uh, my PT person, Pat, who the hell's Pat? I had my PT person shoot some clips of me doing some physical therapy, and I had the nurse do a shot of my wound and how it's healing, so um, basically, Spoiler alert? That's not right. That's not the right thing to say. It's not spoiler alert. It's trigger warning. Trigger warning. So she said it's healing really good. She said I actually have the best wound on the floor. And then um, today in occupational therapy, I basically just got dressed because I was waiting for the wound care nurse. She's very busy. There's only one for the whole facility. And um, she didn't get here till after my PT time started. So Basically, we just did some educational stuff. Um, they have a program, which I'm gonna grab my grabber because she gave me this little bag with it. They have this program. <laughs> Woo! Okay, they have this program called, sorry about that, called Revital. And it is a therapy for cancer patients. And they gave me this cute little string backpack, which I love. So all my stuff's going in there for sure. And I'm very excited about it because there is a booklet in here for me to look at of all different, um, how to treat from treatments, how side effects can affect you, how to do for exhaustion. Oh, sorry. They talk about the exhaustion and I was like, oh, the exhaustion's real, you know? And I was telling a little bit about my experience. She goes, do you know what kind of treatment you'll be having? And I was telling her that I actually started treatments but I had to stop it for the surgery um today is Thursday so there is that um there is that um so there is today's Thursday I have to see the surgeon next Wednesday first I have to get x-rays and then I have to go up and see him and his appointment's at 12 30 which I know she said come whenever you get out but Hopefully we can get there early. Maybe we can get released early. So there's a few different options if Julie can't make it back. Um, but we're going to cross that bridge if and when it happens. Um, there is a hiccup with her at, um, in, at, you know, at her house. So it's not that she'll never make it back. I just don't know if she'll make it back in time. So if that's the case, we will go ahead and figure out the rest of the weekend. Um, so... That's not a huge deal. We actually have a few different contingencies worked out. So let me think. Um, waiting on lunch. Um, oh, so ramp work. That's what I was saying. In physical therapy today, we went up a ramp. We went to the ground floor to go up like the wheelchair ramp. And yesterday we did it. And yesterday I got to like the stain. I don't know exactly what you guys will see in the film. There's like a stain on the carpet. So yesterday I got to the stain and I turned around and then I went to the silver threshold and then I turned around today. I went all the way to the top of the ramp and then I came back down. Um, when I got to the top, just about to the top of the ramp, my hip, my, my, my bad hip started to bother me. No, the right hip started to bother me. Um, it was weird and I was, my feet were up as you can see and it was just like pulling and it was like this weird sensation. She goes, you must have been twisting a little wrong. And then after physical therapy, we did our mat time. So you see that mat time. And after that, then I, when I went and sat up, it really felt like it was like a sharp stabbing pain on the outside, but almost like a, almost like an overworked muscle. Um, but because it was right on the outside of where the, the wound was, it was concerning, but it did go away. It just took a few minutes. It took a few like round, 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 and then it stopped. So that was okay. And then we went to the, I thought she said we were done. So I started to go back to my room and she said, where are you going? She said, we're going to the bars, girl. And, and the supervisor came over to her and said, what? What'd you say? She's like, I was talking to a patient. So we went over to the uh, parallel bars and we did some standing and some kicks and some leg lifts. And I pushed through the last, like, you know, she was like, you want to just do 15? And I was like, nope, I'll do 25, you know? And uh, I stopped at 15 and then I went ahead and I did to 25. Or I stopped at 20 and I went ahead to 25. I can't remember exactly. But it was a rough day today. It didn't start out being that way, but it ended up being that way. Now, I did have something this morning. Um, I was very sad. It's a beautiful day out, as you can tell. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. 
I don't know if the temperature is nice, but the weather is skies were beautiful and I was looking at the skies. And this morning I went onto my Instagram and I saw the video that I posted of Jim um, feeding the birds. And I don't know if you guys are on Instagram or follow me on my uh, Facebook business site, but um, the video that I shot of Jim feeding the birds, I got more emotional today watching that than I did making it. I actually was more emotional this morning about cancer diagnosis than I have been since I got my cancer diagnosis, which was weird. I had sadness and the nurse said, You're, I feel like it's that homesickness time. Now I didn't really feel like it's homesickness. I don't feel like it's homesickness. Maybe I miss my sister. I know I miss my husband, but I knew that going into it, like I've been, I've been away from him before, you know, um, but I understand that. But that loss of independence I've had for so long, I can't imagine it would just hit me at week 37 or something, you know. But when you're watching this on December 3rd, 2021, today celebrates or starts the sixth day. When you're watching this on the 3rd, today on the 2nd, hi, today is December 2nd, 2021. Today is the end of my fifth year. I have my fifth anniversary as a YouTuber. My YouTube channel, my first video went, went up December 13, December 3rd, 2016. And today marks the end of five full years on YouTube. And it's so exciting. I also just hit 68,000 subscribers. And you guys, I love you all. And I'm so grateful for you joining me on this journey. I really am. Um, I'm going to try to vlog a little bit later, but I'm going to put you down for now because I think lunch is coming. And I got to eat because I have one o'clock group. And today is arts and crafts. You know me. I'm into it. So I'll catch you guys in a little while. Bye. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to come on really quick and just tell you that the rest of the day was exhausting but wonderful. Um, I had a visit from the CEO. Apparently, he comes in and does a little exit interview with people as they're checking out. But so happens that he found out that I do YouTube and went on and sourced some of the things that I was talking about and was super supportive and way like he's like I'm a fan he's like I went on and I'm a fan so I am so grateful for him um sorry thank you CEO if you're watching this because you're a fan um the other thing that uh Aunt Sue came for a visit she was um she's so cute she bought a hat from one of the nurses yesterday and a mask and it was really really cute she had it on it matched her outfit really nicely and um and then we helped her use her new phone. So that was fun. Um, for dinner, I had a very light dinner today. It was a grilled chicken breast. I know it was a piece of roast turkey with gravy and a real thin piece, actually. It's kind of funny. And uh, some broccoli. And um, But I'm kind of like, eh, you know? I had a little bit of peanut butter just now, but eh, I don't feel so good. So I'm just going to skip that. I'm waiting for night meds. And then I'm going to go to sleep because it has been a long day. The... the the work starts with the cows. No, the chickens. The work starts with the chickens around here. The roosters? I don't know. Some, some animal. But listen, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm so grateful for all of your support on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever you're reaching out to me. I love it. I thank you so much. And if nobody's told you today that you are loved, remember, I love you. Okay? It's really, really important that you know that. It's really important that you feel loved on this earth. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.